Hi my viewer, this is Sarah Kimani. I trust you had a nice time. Today we are going to discuss about coating even in marriage or keeping your fire burning, your marriage fire burning. And before we do that, let us pray together. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you thanks and honor. Father, you are good to us, you are gracious, you are excellent. Thank you, Father, that you long that Lord Almighty we may stay in happy marriages with Jehovah. I pray that God Almighty, as I speak to my viewers, oh God, you're going to bless them, you're going to cause them to understand and to implement that which you're saying, oh God Almighty, for the glory of God, oh dear Lord, and for their happiness. I give you thanks, Lamb of God, and I glorify you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So my viewer, the thing is this, uh, what is it that you stopped doing and you were doing it before you got married? That is what you're talking about. You know what? Marriage life is 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 a continual a continual pursuing of your spouse. Remember the things that you used to do before you married them. You would call them. You would find out how they are. You would ensure they are happy. You would apologize easily. You would travel all the way and go and meet them. You would do many, many things, even out of your way, to go and meet your spouse and to make sure that they are happy and to make sure that communication is going on. But the unfortunate thing is that when we get married, we stop doing it. And trust me, when you talk, when you remove fire or, or 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 pieces of fire that are burning together, pieces of wood that are burning together to bring a big fire together, when you keep removing one stick after the other, the flame goes down. The flame goes down. So if a, a, a flame dies, then the, it's like the same way. The marriage fire will go down if you stop pursuing your spouse even after marriage courtship and friendship and uh what we call you know pursuing your 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 your, your lover should continue even after marriage let nothing stop because when it stops now the marriage fire keeps going down and then you start getting bored with each other and then after that you start looking for faults from each other and and that is not what it's supposed to be keep pursuing your spouse keep calling them keep finding out how they're doing keep keep uh, apologizing keep saying the the three magic words please sorry and thank you keep saying them and don't take your spouse for granted now that you married them keep doing the right thing and keep pursuing them and then your marriage fire will continue okay you know sometimes you look at other couples and you look at them out there and we call it uh, looking at, at seeing the grass green greener out there you can make your grass green if you keep pursuing your spouse if you keep loving them if you keep doing those nice things and Calling them, you know, lovey doveys, those sweet nothings that you used to do before you got married. Please keep doing them. And once you do that, I can assure you your marriage fire will come back and you'll continue to be friends even as you're married. Okay, make your marriage your make your marriage partner your best friend. Keep sharing with them, keep asking them what's in your heart. How am I doing as a spouse? Can we talk together? Can we continue to be friends? Can I pray with you? You know, can we play together? Keep doing those things. So that you keep your marriage fire burning, okay? God bless you so, so much and stay married and stay happy in Jesus' name. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye for now.